Welcome sa sit9.com uh, In this video ay mag-aaral tayo kung paano mag-multiply ng integers However, bago natin pag-aaralin yung operations at yung mga rules ay tignan muna natin itong problem na ito no? Tignan na muna natin kung saan ba nang galing yung mga rules uh, If a man walks at the speed of 4 km per hour for 2 hours How far does he walk? Before natin isolve yung problem kung hindi, kung hindi nyo napapanood yung mga previous videos natin In the previous videos yun sa addition and subtraction of integers, na-represent natin yung mga integers ng arrow to the left, no? kung yun ay negative, at yung arrow to the right, if it's positive. No? So from here, pwede natin i-represent yung uh, uh, kilometers or 4 kilometers for 2 hours, kunwari going to the right shower to the east. So we have, no? pwede natin siyang i-represent ng positive 4, no? So, yung, yung first hour niya, yung first hour niya ay positive 4, no? This is the first hour. Medyo mahirap. Medyo madulas ang ating board. So, positive 4. And then, another hour. also positive 4. So, sa second hour, this is first hour. Pwede natin lagyan ng first hour. Or one hour. And then two hours. No? So, dito, sa pagdating ng two hours, nakapag-travel na siya ng 8 kilometers. Kasi yung 4 kilometers sa first hour. And then, um, 4 kilometers also during the second hour. So from here, dalawang positive 4. So positive 4 times positive 2 is equal to positive 8 kasi nandito tayo sa kanan. Ano? So parang ito yung number line natin. Ano? So this is positive 8. So from here, masasabi natin that positive times positive equals positive I think this is obvious, no? Kahit wala tayo dito, alam natin na the product of two positive numbers is also positive kasi yun naman ginagamit natin um, from elementary school na ang nagmumultiply naman talaga yun ang positive number at hindi naman siya naging negative yung product. No? Pag dalawang positive, ang sagot ay positive. Now, paano, paano natin i-represent yung two hours? Wari, hindi lang siya for two hours naglalakad for four hours, kung wari. And then, naglalakad siya, for example, 1 hour before or 2 hours before. Kunwari, 2 hours before. So, kung same direction siya, malamang yung nandito siya ng 1 hour before. No? So, this is maybe nandito siya. And then, this is also positive pa rin. Ano? Positive pa rin yung... yung Yung direction natin kasi papunta pa rin siya sa kanan. Nag-negative lang tayo pag papunta sa kaliwa. No? So, but yung hour naman natin, pag before, hindi naman natin siya pwedeng i-represent ng 1 hour din. No? And 2 hours. So, pwede natin siyang i-represent ng negative 1. Negative 1 hour. Pwede natin siya i-represent ng negative 1 hour. At saka negative 2 hours. Kasi 2 hours before siya nung 0. No? Yung, ito yung 0 hour natin kailan siya nag-start. So, from here, pwede nating sabihin that dalawang positive 4, no? So, positive 4 pa rin, yung distance natin, yung nandito. And then, times, dito negative 2, negative 2 na siya, di ba? Kasi 2 hours na. So, this is negative 8. So, papunta na sa kaliwa. So, yung sa number line natin, syempre, right, dito siya sa kaliwa ng 0. So, this is times negative 2. Negative 2 yung oras natin before equals negative 8. Ito yung negative 8 natin. So, from here, makikita natin that positive times negative equals equals negative. So, negative yung product natin. Okay. So, paano kung nagbago naman siya ng direction? Kunwari. Ang galing muna natin to. Yeah? Pag, nag pag nagbago siya ng direction, kunwari pa... Instead na papunta siya sa east, papunta naman siya sa west. No? 
for for two hours kunwari. So dito naman siya, no? Again, pag papuntang east yung ating direction, nare-represent natin siya as negative or pag negative number papunta siya sa uh, east or papunta sa left if we're talking about the number line. So this is negative 4, no? And this one is another negative 4. Then yung first hour natin sa second hour, no? Galing na natin ito. So, ang tanong, yung oras ba natin dito, positive ba o negative? Ito yung, ito yung ano natin, iba starting point. One hour after, no? So, this is one hour after. And then two hours after. So, hindi siya negative kasi after siya, di ba? Ang, ang negative natin is before. So, dito is negative 8. Remember, number line ito, no? In, uh, although na... Uh, nirepresent natin siya as kilometers ito yung ating pinaka number line na kung saan yung ating negative numbers are on the left of zero so from here, ang distance natin dito is negative 4 oh sorry, sorry hindi siya distance but, but the direction this is negative 4 okay. in, in a sense, the distance siya no? uh, direct distance so, this is negative 4 times 2 hours. This is positive 2. 2 hours kasi 2 hours after. Equals negative 8 pa rin tayo. So, from here, negative times positive is also equal to negative. So, kung makikita ninyo, yung uh, left column natin dito, pinaka-left uh, most column, ay puro yan distance at dito yung time. And then, what about 2 hours before? No? 2 hours before. Saan siya ng 2 hours before? So, of course, mag talagay pa rin tayo ng dalawa dito. Negative pa rin ito, itong directed distance natin. Ano? So, this is oh, still negative 4. Tapos, ano naman yung ano natin? Yung time natin. This is uh, 1 hour before or negative 1. No? And then 2 hours before or negative 2. So, ito yung after. Baka malito kayo, no? After. And this is before. Doon naman sa time. So, dito siya nagsimula. So, 2 hours before. That is negative 4. No? Negative 4 pa rin yung distance natin. Times negative 2 is equal to uh, positive 8. So, negative times negative equals positive. Baka, baka malito kayo kasi si, pag sinasabi ko sa mga videos, pag distance, ay palagi siyang positive. Yun yung tinatawag natin na, ano, no? Na, yun talagang distance between two points. Pero ito, ang tawag natin dito is directed distance. So, kung meron kang papunta mo dito, positive ang opposite niyan is negative pag directed distance. Yan yung ginamit natin na representation dito. No? So, from here, makikita na natin yung mga rules sa pag-multiply ng, ng pa positive and negative integers. Pag parehong positive, ang sagot ay positive. And then, pag parehong negative also, ang sagot ay positive. And then, um, pag positive tsaka negative, pagkaiba sila, the, the, the answer is negative. So, one example, before tayo mag-proceed sa, sa susunod na video, saan i-discuss natin yung mga examples nito. So, we have positive 2 times negative 3, for example. So, magkaiba sila ng sign. The answer is, of course, negative 6. Imamultiply lang natin and then we follow these rules. Okay, so maraming salamat. I hope meron kayo natutunan sa video na to. In the next video ay magpa-practice tayo ng pag-multiply ng integers. Uh, kung gusto nyo makareceive ng, mga, ng uh, notification in case may bago tayong video, you can uh, subscribe. Kung kayo nanonood sa YouTube, pwede nyo uh, i-click yung subscribe button at the uh, below the video. 
or kung nasa sit na yun, dot com kayo, pwede kayo mag mag-subscribe sa ating email, no? So, merong email subscription box doon. Just look for it. Doon sa uh, homepage, pwede nyo type yung email nyo and then you can subscribe. So, every time na meron tayong bagong video, ay ma-inform kayo via email. I suggest na puntahan nyo itong sitnayan.com kasi nandito nakalista yung pagkakasunod-sunod, no? Mas okay pag nandito kayo nanood kasi uh, nandun yung mga list, lists ng mga topics kung saan magkakasunod-sunod. Sa YouTube kasi, Uh, minsan kung ano-anong nagpa-pop up na videos. Okay, so maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.